red wire, the middle black wire, and at the other end is a white wire. This is the hall sensor which you need to cut off, which has three pins, and this is where you place the three wires the red, black, and white. So, hopefully, this is a, a little bit better focusing. Hopefully, so it's, this end is the red wire, and then the middle is the black wire, and at the far end is the white wire. Basically, you just solder these onto the three points where you've cut off the hall sensor. Of course, you have to make a hole which is through here so you can put in the thumb controller so this is where I've drilled a little hole and this is the original connection which goes onto the uh, ZX10 connector just pushes in only goes in one way you do have a only goes one way and just plugs in Basically, I shall put it all back together again. Let's pull the wires down gently, the cable. You have two screws for this circuit board. You've got a screw here, and you have another screw which is well, there's two screws, so you've got one here, and where's the other one gone? And the other one is here, which goes into this. And you also have little pin lugs, which the circuit board basically clips onto.
so that's one screw put in and you have another one which is just along here just there it is So that's the two screws screwed in. So basically I'm going to just give the screen a bit of a wipe. Just to get all the, the dust off. And also I've got a bit of a blower just to get more dust off. get it all nice and clean there you go just five screws here which you can clearly see at the back I shall put those in So that's the five screws put into place so this is the uh, the original trigger the finger trigger that came with this unit which goes on the back comes with a spring so watch out you don't use a spring so basically a little magnet which normally contacts the uh, the hall sensor as you pull the trigger so as the trigger moves tells the hall sensor to basically make the bike motors run of course you don't need this anymore because now I have a thumb speed controller so you can see how the sort of length that I've made As the original cable was probably three times as longer than this so you need to cut that and that's hold your three 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 wires red black and white and basically like I said earlier make a screw hole through the back end of the plastic put your cable through and basically sold your, sold, solder your wires where you've actually cut off the original hall sensor which looks like this not sure if you can see that because it's not sure if the focus is any good but that's got three pins on it it's quite small 
give you an idea. That's a penny there. Put it in a bag. Save it for a rainy day in case you need it. And there you have it. My new thumb controller. So now it makes it a lot safer because you can get hold of your uh, brake levers now. Whereas before, with this finger controller, it was difficult to get hold of the brake lever without actually pushing that in as well. So this, in my opinion, makes it a lot safer. So hopefully that helps. So that's the original. Oh no, this is the uh, <coughs> the new thumb controller cable goes inside, and this is the original plug connector, which I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a a, a, a line which you line it up with the plug on on the other end of the bike, so it just pushes in. But the pins are located that they can only fit in one way anyway, so they're a bit tight to pull it off originally. So it was a good fit, it is a very good fit. So it just clips on, put these over your handlebar, reconnect up the, uh, the speed controller with your new thumb controller. And test it out and if it doesn't work quite possibly you've got the two wires mixed up the wrong way round which would be the red wire and the white wire you can swap those around but I do believe on all these sort of controllers the black wire is always the middle middle pin so hopefully You'd be able to do that yourself and uh, good luck.